Hey everyone, my name is Amaryllis and I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. Hello, my name is Terrence and I'm also an artist. I'm based in America. And together we are Kiara Deja Diamond and the 777 Satisfactions. A Kiara Deja Diamond is a cartoon reliquary and an astral map that will direct all who experience it towards the treasure of planning family evolutions of mind, body, and spirit. Now the thing itself takes the form of a graphic novel and then a televisual cartoon series. And both will function in culture as sites of story as spirit clinic for all of us who need these therapies. Kiara Deja Diamond in the 777 Satisfactions tells the story of Kiara, a young ruler to be, who must master 777 satisfactions, which are amalgams of skills, senses, knowings, and subjectivities in order to arrive at the knowledge of self, family, body, spirit, and space time. Once she does so, she will ascend to the throne of her own domain. So each issue and or episode, we'll see Kiara on an adventure to master one or many of these satisfactions. And these adventures are themselves cartoon reliquary in that the drawings, both in their editorial and animated forms, hold elements of the healing we aspire to facilitate. The reliquary revolves and at any given point holds reform body politic, sex perm positive pin work, color rights, masking instructions, hella funny shit, Odu, which is about parables meant to relay as bespoke life lessons, nostalgia, black and brown power propaganda, queer normative power propaganda, and Shinto, Evangelical, Yoruba, Pentecostal, Pentagraphic, Synchros. So that's the world of Kiara Deja Diamond. But today, what we're really asking for support in is creating a world where we can build this piece together. So I write, I'm a realist draws, but while imagining and growing Kiara together, it's remained very clear that what we both do is build worlds. Yeah, you know, world building, that's what we saw in each other's practice. When I first saw Terrence's work, I experienced a world of harmonics where past, present, and future became like sentient spirits in chorus with physical time. And me personally, I saw worlds within worlds within worlds of Amaryllis' work. And on one plane, you know, I felt her deep love of the cartoon. And on all the other planes, I felt those same cartoons conjurings, of course, their jokes and their spells. And the ancestors are alive and thriving in all of it. So world building is not just like this new buzzy world for, for screenwriting or storytelling. When we say world building, our definition is that world building and the world we build has to move beyond the book and the animation. Mm -hmm. We have to build a world to make this project within that is foundationally different from the world we most often make art with. To make Kiara's world, we need to imagine and grow in Marxist means of production as a practice of liberation. Why this mode of production? Freedom. Freedom makes better art. Freedom makes healing art. Mm -hmm. Freedom resists assimilation. And the mode of production must be in service to what Kiara wants. We're trying to get very creative with our capital. So if you haven't guessed by seeing the work, Kiara Deja Diamond is for the inner child of adults who have gone through some shit. And we all gone through some shit, especially these last few years. And it really should resonate with our child selves without censoring any of the ideas, language, images to speak to our adult selves. And what is more adult than the ever-present existential questioning but the about the whole process by which we get this money. Right. Kiara is only down to do this with us if everyone gets paid and feels uplifted by the work they create. Kiara needs to platform both the novel and the series in a way that contributes to the metamorphosis of capitalism towards communalism, total creative liberation for the artists involved, and full stewardship of the intellectual property we are creating. So to sustain this mode of production, we need a comic publishing entity who will co-distribute this work 
in a cooperative resource model. We also are looking to partner with an animation studio, I think Studio Ghibli, that's our dream, yeah. to co-create this work with while valuating all labor as equity in the project, collaborators and financiers who love total creative freedom and who honor our partnership self-determination from start to finish. We're also looking to collaborate with theorists across disciplines to help innovate strategies for this mode of making. Listen, it's gonna be fun to reimagine how we're engaging with content platforms such that our participation as artists starts to move us all collectively away from systems of exploitation and towards systems of interdependence. And once we do so, we will have fully learned satisfaction number 643. Forge your tools together and make your work forever. Only 134 to go. Yes. <laughs>